Don't you hate it when a family member says, well, you know, blood is sticking in water. Because after they say that, you know that they're about to spit pure tea game to you. They're trying to get you for something. And I just get sick and tired of hearing that. First and foremost, this is a fact. 92% of blood is made out of water. That if it weren't for water, blood wouldn't even exist. So I don't, I, mean, I don't really understand that whole, I don't know what you call it, slogan or, I don't know. I, I just know whenever I hear blood is thickening in water, I run. I run. You see, I look at family totally different from a lot of other people. You know, a lot of other people tolerate the BS that comes from their mother, their father, their aunts, their uncles. And they really have embedded that in their mind. Blood is sticking in water. So whatever their mother does, whatever their father does, right or wrong, they still love them and they still take care of them. That's not how I am. I'm not talking to my father right now because he did some foul you know what. Not just once, twice, and even a third time. And I said, you know what? I gotta walk away because I'm, I'm not gonna tell all my business, but he put my children in danger, potentially in danger. And it, that, that wasn't the first time. And I'm like, yo, I can't do it. So I'm not talking to him. I'll see him when they put him six feet under. And that's foul. I know y'all saying that's foul. Langston, that's your father. But it don't fly with me. Ain't no blood is thickening in water here. You mess up a few times with me, it's a wrap. Period. I got a grandmother, right? She's old, she's very old. She's like 80 something, right? And there were times like, cause you know, my I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. My family on my mom's side, they stay in Durham, North Carolina, right? So, you know. My mother, my mother's mother, which is my grandmother, she lives in Durham. So she's like, I don't even know why Langston won't come down here and, you know, um, to the cookouts and the this and the that. And I'm like, well, you know, first and foremost, I have a family and I have, you know, business that I'm conducting here. And I'm like, if you really want me to come, you will make a way for me to come. But th th she don't want to make a way for me. Now, if she was paying for gas and she was she was saying, well, you know what, I'll pay for gas and you can stay at my house, you know, and blah 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 blah, then maybe I might come. Pause. But you're just telling me that I gotta take the time out of my busy schedule. I gotta take the time out to, to pack up all my children and go down there to a cookout or something that y'all are having. And I just, my world just stops. No, it doesn't work like that. And that's not fair. And as an elder, you should understand how things work in this capitalistic society. And how a, a man such as myself that has a few children, I need every penny that I can get. So in reality, you, sh you should be doing things that an elder would do, that a grandmother would do, which is if you wanted to see us, Give us some money. Give us some money, not to the point where I'm, I'm being money hungry, not to the point where I'm saying pay my bills and my rent and all the rest of that stuff. I'm saying help me out. You you know, I have children. You, you want to see me? You want to see us? Then, you know, say, listen, I'll pay for the gas or I'll pay for this or I'll pay for that because I really want to see you. But she's not going to do that. She's not going to do that. And what bugs me out about older people in general for as family members they always say this, well, you never call, you know, y'all, you know, y'all, I don't know y'all can't wait until I die because y'all waiting to see if y'all in the will and y'all, if y'all going to get some money and I'm just no good. I, all y'all want, want, want me for is money. Well, the thing of it is, is this, 
Let me explain something to you For you older people The thing of it is is this If you're only good for money Then yes true We That's all we want That's all we want That's the first thing And the second thing is this I don't understand how old people Right Get money And they write out a will And then when they die They give Then you get the money That's like a, that. That's making you want you, see, you understand what I'm saying? That's making you say in your mind, I can't wait until this damn, this damn lady dies. Why not do this, uh, the uh, elders? Why not do this? Why not give us the money while you alive, and then we'll have the time to come and see, see you. We'll have the time to sit down and chit-chat with you, help you around the house if you need some things cleaned or, or fixed. But we live in a capitalist society. And we need money And it's just that plain and simple So I just hate it when people be on some Family members be on blood is thicker than water Because I, I don't, that, I don't I'm not in agreement with that Yo, I heard somebody say this And it made perfect sense to me it, the, 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 I, I forgot where I, I saw it on YouTube or whatever have you And I forgot the person that said it But the person that's, that, that said it he, he said, I think it was a guy he said, because I see so much stuff, you know what I'm saying, throughout the course of the day. Um, I look at so much stuff throughout the course of the day, so I don't remember. But I remember what he, what he said, right? I don't remember what was, it, 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 what was the, his name, but I knew it was a guy. So um, he said, if you're my brother and you treat me like you're my brother, then you're my brother. If you're my brother, but you don't treat me like you're my brother, you're not my brother This is the thing This is what bugs me out Like family members feel as though That they're what? Privileged Entitled Oh I'm your mother But if you weren't there for me What, what was I supposed to continue to do? I'm not saying that, that 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 was my mom's But I'm just saying overall I'm supposed to continue to do Because you're my father Oh you're my father You brought me into this world Well most times <laughs> To be real with you, all all Daddy wanted to do was bust a nut, so he didn't. His, his intentions wasn't weren't at that time bringing you into the world. It wasn't. He was more focused on busting a nut, and he just so happened to bust inside your mother, and she got pregnant. That plain and simple. Um, that's just about eighty percent of the black community. I'm more than sure that my father didn't plan on me coming here. He planned on coming. But he didn't plan on me coming here To this planet So I don't owe him nothing I don't owe you anything Especially if you haven't if you have, if, And this is not geared towards my father I'm just saying in general Especially if you weren't there Especially if you didn't do anything For me in my life But you want me To look out for you Because blood is thicker than water That does not make sense And for those that Think that way I'm telling you Your life is going to be A miserable hell Because That's what The family is using Towards to, um, to, to, Towards you In order to get What they want And they're going to Keep on milking you And keep on milking you Until you say I'm stopping I stop I don't I don't hardly have any friends I don't uh, I don't hardly talk to family members I have tons upon tons of people That uh, You know As far as dealing with Family members Tons of them But I only probably talk to My mother That's it I got two cousins that's here in Charlotte And I just started talking to one And she's she's cool So I'm, I'm going to continue talk, talking to her The other one on the other hand uh, I, Not so much I, I, I'm really to be personal with you I, I don't even know her So I don't know her character I don't know how she is I've heard about her I don't like to go by hearsay, so I'd much rather, you know, get to like get to know her to see if who, who whoever told me about her is right or wrong. But I'm not with that mess. I'm not with that blood is thickening in water. That's game to me. That's game. It always has and always will be. It's just that plain and simple. And I don't care whether you were my grandmother, my mother, my father, my brother, my sister. If you cross me, you're done. You're done. I see you six feet under. You're done to me. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to give you game. I'm trying to drop jewels. Pick them up. 
for you all that's, that's like that, on that, falling for that BS. Blood is thicker than water. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing for you. Nothing. You cross me, I ain't doing shit for you. You give me the world, I'll give you the world in return. Other than that, hey, I see you six feet under. Period. It's just that plain and simple. And matter of fact, I can't even see you six feet under because I don't go to funerals. I just don't. I don't like seeing people that I know when prior to them dying, I saw them animated, alive. I'd rather remember you alive than remember you in a casket, dead. That's not the last uh, picture that I want to see in my mind when I think about my grandmother, my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my cousins. So, I I'll see you later. Y'all could, could call me cold-blooded. You could call me all types of names. But I'm telling you what works for me. And I'm just and, and, and I'm just trying to put you all on game. Maybe it may work for you. Maybe it won't. But I don't play that blood is sticking in water. I just don't. I go based on how you treat me. And if you treat me like gold. And you're not a family member. You're just some in the streets and I've, I've I've gained a relationship with you a friendship built a friendship with you throughout the course of the years then you're my brother then you're my sister it just depends on how you treat me other than that blood is sticking in water is bullshit my name is Langston2092 I want you to like comment subscribe and definitely share this video share it with your family members share it with your family members the ones that say well you know Blood is thicker than water. One.